this is gobsmackingly beautiful and it's 55 minutes from the largest railway station in Scotland where there are a million visitors each year through Edinburgh who will have the opportunity to see the glory of the borders in a space of 55 minutes. And for this community and the communities around the borders to take advantage of that opportunity to make sure that these people get the opportunity to visit, to see, to spend and to see the great produce of the borders. And that's a project on which the Borders Council and the government will be working to make sure we take the absolute full advantage from the transformational effect of that railway line. Ballast is a, is a clean um, regimented stone that w w goes right across the whole 30 miles and it's, it ranges in, in depth, it's around 30 to 60 centimetres depending on where we are and the, the sleepers sit on top of that um, and then the track on top of that so it's all part of the rail system. You have the engineered ground level that we're producing now, the ballast sits on top of that and the sleepers sit on the ballast. So you can adjust the ballast to make sure that the train level height is, is exactly bang on. Across the whole 30 miles of the route, we've got a new drainage system and depending on the, the area, depends on the size of drainage pipe we use and the, they, they fall out to a discharge point. Um, so through here, through the Tynehead Cat, it's a very wet area, so there's drainage right along both sides of the track. And what you can see here is the drainage stone being put down. The white blanket is a textile blanket which will protect the drainage for the longer term um, along the full length concrete railway sleepers rather than the traditional timber ones. Um, Network Rail provide these from their purpose-built factory and we've started to stockpile them now in advance of their installation. So you'll see uh, this first of all came into the Sheriff Hall area um, but now we're down in, in Harriet where the, there's a stockpile ready to, to go. And what will happen now is we'll start to lay out the bottom ballast and the sleepers in preparation for the track which will be laid um, September, October later this year. When I left school I joined the railway in 1970 at Euston Travel Centre and I was a junior clerk there. Um, we used to, about once a week, go across to Collector's Corner which was the railway uh, uh, shop which disposed of items from lines closed and so forth and one day I walked in there and there was Melrose. I asked them if they got Gala Shields, they said no, unfortunately they hadn't but uh, they got a Melrose one and it cost me five pounds which was pretty well a week's money in those days. The two platform tickets are the last time I stood on Gallus Shields station. Uh, they're dated the 17th of July 1968 
Uh, one was for my father, the other one was for myself. And I took my one and only picture of a train in Gallus Hill Station on that day using a Kodak Instamatic camera. The first day cover was one that was sent to me from the area. Um, the envelope actually was to commemorate the closure of the line and was, I believe, carried on the last train. Well, it's made by the Eildon Hills in the background and, and certainly I can remember my mother on the way into uh, Gala when she saw the Eildon Hills and as a child you don't really understand it but she would start crying and she would be the same on the way back south again. Uh, as long as she could see those hills she'd have tears in her eyes. As soon as they disappeared she'd click straight out of it and, and her accent would also start to change back into something that we could understand a little bit more uh, logically. I suppose this is the um, first generation in over 40 years which will grow up beside the railway. So we use Scottish Youth Theatre uh, for a lot of safety messages that Network Rail do, does across Scotland, but also um, when we're putting new routes in as well. So, um, you know, they get the message across in a friendly way. They are used to working with children, so, you know, they, they know how to help kids understand those messages. Uh, without just, you know, wagging their finger and telling them what to do. It is different, I think, in the borders in Midlothian because they don't have that um, experience of having a railway. But, I mean, there's been... We've been quite surprised and, and pleased with how much people already know and how kind of interested and, and excited they've been um, about talking about it down here. So, yeah, it's been good. It was like we were doing a song about, like, stay off the train track. Because, like, if you're playing on the train track, you might get, like, hurt by a train or something. Unless you're getting on a train, don't go near the tracks. Play in the playground! Play in the playground!